Disclaimer, this video is made for an adult audience. What's the upside my dear adult fans of Lego Soul Brick in the house and I'm standing here on a Venetian bridge in my custom Lego town, Soul Town. And while I was filming my previous episode, I realized that um, it would be nice to have a mountainside over here and uh, put some uh, foliage on this so this would be like my jungle themed section or a forest nature kind of themed part of the town because i don't have the real estate to have something flat like a park or something i could have it vertical so that could be kind of fun to to play around with so that's the way i'm going to cover this up somehow there are some uh, it's not a problem but you know it's a it's a challenge and that's behind here there's actually just a gaping hole down to the floor so everything needs to rest on these pieces on the side here so i'm going to figure that out somehow and then connect everything here uh, on the big ugly rock pieces you know what i heard what all the cool a -foles, they subscribe to soul break well i'm a cool cat i'm gonna totally subscribe to soul break i'm gonna hit that button right now now first I had to clean this area up a bit, so I removed a lot of the, the extra stuff that was sitting there, like the palm trees and whatnot. And just clean this up a bit more so a lot of bricks won't be falling behind here, because it's kind of tricky to get at them when they're behind there. So, and we're gonna remove this as well. Now I have some sets that I want to just scramble for parts like this one and this one and I have a second one of those so um, it's gonna be cool. Now as you can see here I pretty much ripped everything out here like this bridge and the trees and everything and the toilet uh, so now I'm just working on trying to get a better base down here. I can place uh, stuff on later and I want to have a little bit of wiggle room here if I need to move the city around a bit because I learned the hard way that it's going to be making your life a lot more difficult if you uh, have everything flush against stuff. I have a pretty stable base to work on now. I put in a larger brick here and uh, it's a bit wider and so so that's sturdy and this is sturdy these are beams that go in underneath here and i have some plates underneath here and i also have a larger base underneath this one a big brick so um, i'm feeling pretty confident that this is a, a good solution it just bugs me that i have to tear down the whole um, bridge because it's uh, it's a bit of a mess here right now and the bridge is pretty much back in now and I want to remove these nets from Spider-Man and uh, have foliage here instead. And boy, they were pretty hard attached in there. Okay, so the webs are removed and now I'm going to put in some foliage here. So, I wonder if that could, yeah, it could. That's clever, Lego that part and this wine part we can have this one going just like so and a lighter wine here i guess this should be here yeah now the restroom is back there and it's a tight fit but we have the little big ugly rock piece back there just as a good starting point and I have this wall segment, the pit of a mountain that I'm working on. And I used this piece just so it's, it's easy to get it down here and lift it up. And just like try to get a, a good measurement of uh, how many gray pieces I need. And where I can have stuff hanging over like trees or whatnot. The progress on the mountainside is going well. This is turning out to be a nice corner and there will be an overhang. But <laughs> look at what, what's in here. It's too... It's two rabbits. I just, I just love rabbits. They're so, they're so cute, cute little rabbits. <laughs> so cute. 
mountain rabbits is that a thing i don't know <laughs> so cute little rabbits so i was going to rip this side wall out which i'm doing now because there's going to be a balcony here but <laughs> have you noticed there's a there's even a little baby rabbit now that's even cuter oh my god that's so cute and here's the balcony piece like so and i'm just gonna put it in here have you noticed that now there's even a brown bunny almost sounds like a movie title or something and one more white now they have three babies <laughs> i mean i guess that's i guess that's cute so I'm working on this balcony part and it's a couple of branches underneath that I will show later in the video when we go with the handheld camera how that's done but uh, it's gonna be cool and there's a staircase of course there and I'm using this brown rock piece as a sort of um, a tree trunk part and uh, I made this little fence here that's going to be up here so nobody falls down because that would be kind of stupid and dangerous but uh I don't know it's starting to i noticed there's more there's even one behind here one more of those brown bunnies we have a bit of a bunny problem i don't know if you can tell but there's an orangutan in here now hanging from that little branch and <laughs> there are more actually this these are all the the baby rabbits i have so so it's all done and then i have this uh What's it called? Like a hanging bridge that is going, oh, wrong way. It's gonna go this way, a rope bridge. Looks a bit adventurous. Oh, adventurous. Hmm, hmm. What's this soul brick guy up to actually with this build? Let's see. So, and then there's gonna be a platform up here. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's different shades of brown. I didn't have them in the same color, but it doesn't really matter for this build. So let's go on top of here, creating that nice dark little shadow that you have in, in jungles because of the trees canopies is covering everything. So not a lot of sunlight comes down. Welcome to the jungle, which is my favorite song with Aerosmith. So the top build here is actually going to be based on set 5976 River Expedition from 1999. So it's a 21 year old set. I don't have it, but I have most of the parts. And I'm not going to build a boat, but I'm going to build a, the temple structure that looks like some sort of a gorilla or baboon. But to do that, I need to have this on the ground like so, so it's much easier to build. So first we're going to have this part here and this so that we can start creating that kind of like mouth front piece. Put in a tongue and some more teeth. And let's do like so and the same on the other side. And to symbolize that mouth gap. This is the red window frame, as you can see. And behind we're gonna use red just to make it a bit fleshy, like a fleshy inside of your mouth. Yeah, you really wanna make out with that one. And then we're gonna go like so. And, and we're gonna have this part as well. So, and I have these nice printed pieces from the adventure set. So it will look a bit exotic in here and adventurous because this is the adventure shop if you haven't guessed yet. And on this side we're gonna have that kind of nice glass door and the doorknob is going to be a scorpion so you really get into the mood of consummating uh, adventure stuff in here. This is a place for danger and brave people. And up here we're gonna have these snot pieces. Studs not on top. And not the snot you get from your nose. And turn that around. Let's 
so this piece here to hold everything together like the over the, the upper lip and some teeth <laughs> it almost feels like when you have to put in your your uh, fake teeth for on your grandmother <laughs> yeah I sh I'm sure you can relate inside we're gonna have this stand for some adventurous hats in the window and they're selling some maps in here some treasure maps so that you can go into the heart of darkness and these bags and a compass is going to be hanging on the wall here and of course some handy dynamite when you're out on treasure hunts you need to blow things up and this is the lady working in here she's seen some stuff and well she seen so much stuff that she lost one eye she can be standing here and we have this uh, special looking snake customer i don't know maybe they sell stuff to villains in here and then the very important cash register because this is not a charity on the outside here is going to be the very mystical green fire or flames because it's cool and it looks mystical all right so the bottom floor is done here i'm going to work on the the roof part now and that's basically a lot to assemble so i just already did, done it but uh, i'm going to put some stuff on the inside like so so you can see that that looks pretty cool and on the sides here we're gonna put in some nice windows same on the other side and those slope pieces and inside here there's gonna be this golden dragon head that's uh, it's guarding something, a very important treasure, the greatest treasure of them all. And that is of course love. Love is the most precious thing we have. So let's put love in here. So, looks pretty nice. And the roof part. Let's see if I can put this in uh, without everything falling apart. Probably not. Oh yeah, it worked. So let's see if we can just raise this tripod a bit. Well, would you have a look at that? I think that looks pretty, pretty awesome. Let's go with some handheld action here. As you can see here, I mean, that's really cool. And I like that it's a bit of a little adventure just to get to that little shop. You need to go over the rope bridge and then up the stairs. And there's no like safety rails here or anything. So it looks cool. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that monkey is so funny. Now I think I will stop the mountainside here and not build it any higher. And I, when I was building this, I realized that I want to have some sort of a house here instead. So I'm going, going to work on a facade there that's, you know, like just uh, two uh, studs deep or something. So we'll have a nice transition from the jungle part to a more town looking Venice, uh, whatever kind of style, Amsterdam. So I think this turned out really nice. Bob's your uncle, Fan is your aunt. And the window here actually creates that even greater illusion of this being a mouth with that uh, deeper kind of feeling to it. And uh, yeah, I think this looks super fun going over here and I have those uh, death skulls here and everything so and all the rabbits pretty nice let's back up with that said you know the drill stay out of the nonsense stay awesome and please subscribe <laughs>